Looks like we got a new guy. For now, let's get you to the field. On. Three, two, three, two, one, action. Say no more. Kayla! Hey, Larry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, how about you just remember that part? On. Three. What's your name anyway? How's it going everybody? My name is Jake. Welcome to Spider King Studios and this is going to be the behind the scenes for scene one of our short film runner. Very quick disclaimer, if you have not watched the short film yet, I very much so advise you to go watch that first. Link is in the description below, but let's get into it, all right? Here we go. And all right, starting off, we have a shot of the forest. You see a tree there. And uh, with this scene, it's, it was a very simple scene to film. Uh, it, was, it was very simple, actually. We start off with just some establishing shots with the forest. Um, if you didn't tell, if you're one of our uh, more consistent subscribers who sees more of our content, you'll notice that our filming quality has very much gotten better with this film as opposed to our last film, Dead Man Walking. It's because our last film, Dead Man Walking, was filmed entirely on an iPhone 6. <laughs> this was filmed entirely on the Canon Rebel T6i, and so there's a very much better quality difference there. I love it. I love the way the shots turned out, and I just couldn't help but get so many. I had to cut a lot out in post-production just for the sake of sh cutting it down and not boring the audience with my um, fangirl shots. Because yes, I did fangirl over them. They were really nice shots. And so, you know, uh, I really liked the way it turned out. Um, scene one, like I said, was a very easy scene to film. The shots were easy. Sound was very easy to capture. Um, we just put ambient noise in the background. Um, if you didn't already tell, this uh, camp right here, the uh, location of this scene is the same location as basically the entire rest of the film because it's just a, it's a simple film, it's more of a drama than anything really. And so we used the same location both in the nighttime, the, uh, you know, the rest. And um, so the only scenes that weren't using this location were the last scene and scene six with the battle. And uh, you'll have to see that episode to know where we film that and the complications with that one. But there's not much to say about the scene, to be honest, because it was just, it was a really overall easy scene to film. And, um, but you know, we're just going to get into it. First off, the shots. Yes, like I said, we used Canon Rebel T6i. It was magnificent. I love the way it turned out. Small camera, but the Canon series, Kevin, Rebel T6i, the Rebel series, those are really good cameras. I really highly suggest you get a, um, a Rebel, uh, a, um, Canon. Get, get a DSLR if you want a beginner's DSLR. That, that is really good. It's, it's good value. It's a little bit pricey maybe. And so maybe you'll have to look for better options if you don't have a ton of money. I didn't. I saved up for it. But it's a really good option if that's what you're going for. Um, second sound for this movie. The entirety of the movie. I used the Zoom H1. And, oh my gosh, it was brilliant. I love the way the audio turned out with it. Uh, I tried a, a miniature shotgun mic. Um, didn't exactly like the way it turned out. It, it, was, it was okay, but it, it, it didn't give me the quality I wanted. And it, it overall, I, to be honest, wish I didn't buy it, like actually. Um, but with this Zoom H1, I am very impressed with the way it turned out. Stereo mic, that means you can hear what's going on, on your right side, on your left side, and in between. And so it just, it worked out with all of my needs. I just had um, one of my grips uh, run around and, and hold it there. And so we could capture all the audio that we needed and it was amazing. It turned out great. So with the ambient noise going, uh, with the sound, rest of the sound talk, we um, just put some ambient noise in the background, some water here, some birds there. Some snakes that, and I'm just kidding. No, there were no, there, there actually were no snakes in the movie. That would be, that would be disappointing. Uh, yeah. Let me just close off the video here. There's not much to it. Scene one, it was a blast. It was really great. Uh, actors did amazing. Um, but overall, 
Uh, it, it turned out to be one of my favorite scenes just because of how easy it was, and I, I loved the shots. That was that's the main reason. I love the the camera shots because this was one of the first scenes I filmed with my new Canon, and so it, it turned out great. And you know that's all I really have to say. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode. Um, we'll have more to come. This is behind the scenes for scene one of Runner. And I hope you guys stay tuned. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Show me that you liked this video and I'll do more. If you have any ideas for anything else, comment below. I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear it. Give me the feedback. And lastly, if you want to see any more of my content, any more films, any more of anything really, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would be very much appreciated. On the road to 1,000 subs. I know I'm only at like 100 now. So maybe in the future when I look back, yeah, yeah, I'm only at a hundred, a uh, hundred, you know, subscribers. All right, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you all very much for watching, and stay tuned for the rest of behind the scenes for Runner. Oh.